Hiya, yeah, so we're back to making the bridesmaid dress. It's the next day now. Um, I did press my dress. See how beautiful those pleats are now? Lovely. Anyway, so we put that to one side. I'm going to make the top part of the dress now. So the first part is the neckline. So with right sides together, we will be sewing these two pieces together. I'm going to sew around the neckline. Again, I've marked my notches again on the neckline. So you sew this to tell you. 0.5 seam allowance again. You'll probably hear Horrid Henry in the background because son's watching it. Can you turn that down just a little smidgen for me, darling? Thank you. Um, we'll see what number it's on now. It's on 16. Can you take it down to 12, do you think? That'd be all right. So, 0.5 is like, where's my blue pen? There's one there. It's like there. See how small that is? So we're just going to do that. I like to go this way though. <laughs> from the um, edge right then on all the way around in a complete circle I didn't turn my stitch allowance down my um not stitch allowance my um stitch length sorry so i can't leave it like that so i'm gonna have to unpick it quickly. um no thank you not right now but... see it was still on um basting far too long the stitch length for this Look here, Amandi. See what uneasy, easy that unpicked. Right. Let's start again. Put the correct stitch length. That feels better. So all the way around the outfit. little notches around just so it, um when you turn it out the right way the next seam lies out of that although you are going to make a channel and put some elastic in it's still quite nice to have it nice and flat sitting when you try to feed elastic through it ends up being hard to work if you have it all bunched up. When you turn this out the correct way, I 
And then, so you're pushing one inside the other. Put it all the way around. Then you want to like roll the seams, and get them nice and flat. Okay, so that's nice and flat. So what you're going to do now is you're going to sew um, about 0.75 centimeters around the neckline, leaving a gap somewhere for the elastic to go through. So in order to help it, it will stay nice and flat. Give yourself a couple of pins so you know it's all. Not going to slip too much on you. So from that edge, 0.75 centimeters is about there. It's not a huge amount, but it's enough for your. Um, where did I put that blue dot? Blue dot, where did you go? No way, where did that blue dot go? How long is that? There it is. So again, nice flat stitching in a circle. You're not going to meet the line when you come back where you're really stitching and leave a small gap so there's room to put in your elastic. So it's going to make like an elastic casing for that to go through and then it's going to gather up the dress at the neck. Where I started. I'm just going to leave a small gap. Don't a huge gap, you just need to work with it. So like. As you can see, I finished off here and I started there. So it's just a small little gap. So then it says to do the sleeve hems, if you don't actually put the elastic through yet. So it says, with the bodice sitting as the last step, you put it like this, both layers sit together, roll the right hand sleeve layers up and keep rolling across the bodice into your over the neckline. Now separate the left hand sleeve layers and bring them over and under the roll bodice, enclosing the roll, match the sleeve hems together with the right sides together. So with a 0.5 seam allowance, pull through so every I just say that, hold on. 
pull through so everything is right side out again and press the sleeve hem so it is flat. Now roll from the left to the right. So basically it's like, a, it's like when you're making a waistcoat. So. Roll the right hand sleeve loads up and keep rolling across the bodice until you are over the neckline. Separate the left hand sleeve layers, bring them over and under the roll bodice. So we're going to and on my pattern pieces, sorry I didn't tell you this, I marked the sleeve and I marked here for sleeve. That's how I know that those are the sleeves. I should have told you that. So this is the bodice bottom and these are the sleeve bits. So you're just going to roll it. And then we're going to open this up. And so down the length. You can put a couple of pins in here if you like. Depends on how confident you feel. Okay, that's got a little bit missing. As in, it's not been cut straight. Seam allowance. So made like a burrito, it's like the burrito roll. everything through so it all matches again so you're just going to pull it all out and then roll it and then make that nice and flat and then we're going to roll again so that was like that i'm just rolling it again to do the other side the burrito roll there we are then we're over and under Got a feeling from looking at the cool crafting page that the little mini announcement on the Christmas box is kind of going to be it. I have not seen an official um, like post for the discussion on it or anything yet. So I'm still not going to post my video of me opening it. Still not going to say what it is just in case because I don't want to get in trouble. Okay, pull this back out. <laughs> um, yeah. But I will be doing videos on it because it is so adorable. So now I need to do this sleeve edge. A bit nice and flat. I notice I've been doing a lot of um, videos in my slouchy evening wear recently. to do a few more in, in the daylight hours okay so that is your sleeve hems done so now you're going to put elastic in the sleeve hems so again you're going to top stitch in 0.75 so you create a corridor channel for your elastic to go into So 
that's one channel. And this is the second channel. Perfecto. So then it says to cut two cent 10 centimeter pieces using safety pin, thread it through the seed pen, gathering up the fabric, secure each end before the next step. Okay, so where's my elastic? It's in that little bag of trips I had with the kit. Rolled up the inside the ribbon. Ten centimeters, just so you know, it's about four inches. That's my left over bit ready for the next. So here they are, where's my little safety pin? Oops, there's a little one. Just me poked myself. No, I want to pull it. Start again, but secure it at the end, Monday. I'm just going to pin it there. So that's a nice pretty little gathering up. So I'll do the other side exactly the same and then I'll leave the next bit which is the underarm seam to the next video. So I will see you in that one. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!